The prehistoric animal model manufacturer called Collector have produced a number of horned dinosaur models over recent years. And in 2014, they have introduced a replica of the bizarre Xenoceratops, a horned dinosaur that is distantly related to the better known Starachosaurus and Pachyrhinosaurus. This dinosaur is known from only fragmentary skull material, representing at least three individual animals, found in Upper Cretaceous strata in southwestern Alberta. The rest of the animal has been modelled on more complete fossil material. Collector have chosen to give their replica a very striking paint job, with a black body contrasting with a lighter coloured underside and white stripes on the head crest, standing out against flashes of blood red located on the nasal bone and on the top of the neck frill. Note that Xenoceratops has been given a line of bristle-like protrusions running along the top of the hips to the base of the tail. Paleontologists have uncovered evidence to suggest that some late Cretaceous horned dinosaurs may have had bristles or quills on their rumps. If they had such structures, then their purpose remains unclear. Perhaps they were brightly coloured and used in visual communication between members of the herd. If viewed from the side, the bristles may have made this herbivore look bigger than it actually was, a deterrent perhaps to an attacking Tyrannosaur. Or indeed, it has even been suggested that the structures were made up of sharp spines that could protect the hip area from attack. It has even been proposed that these spines were tipped with poison. The model measures approximately 13.5 centimetres long, and the tip of those impressive white horns on the top of the thrill are about 7 centimetres off the ground. Although it is difficult to conclusively gauge the size of this dinosaur, based on the fossil record, we estimate that this model is an approximately 1 to 44 scale, based on an adult Xenoceratops being around 6 metres in length. The bizarre horns and neck shield of this dinosaur are very well recreated by Collector. It did have a spectacular frill, with two huge horns sticking out of the top of the neck frill and two large sideways pointing horns positioned over the eyes. Analysis of a partial right nasal bone suggests that this dinosaur may have possessed another horn on the tip of its nose. This is not shown in the model, but the base, known as the boss, is painted a bright red colour. One area of a dinosaur model often overlooked is the cloaca, or vent, the posterior opening of the animal. Collector have made sure that their Xenoceratops has a very obvious vent, and the model shows lots of nice detail on the underside. Note the correct number of fingers and toes, again Collector taking the time and trouble to make sure that the replica is anatomically correct. This is an excellent addition to the Collector range of prehistoric animal models. This is, after all, a replica of a dinosaur that itself was only named and described less than two years ago. The Xenoceratops and the rest of the Collector prehistoric life range is available from Everything Dinosaur, the UK-based retailer of dinosaur models, toys and games that is staffed by parents, teachers and real dinosaur experts. Visit www.everythingdinosaur.com for all your dinosaur and prehistoric animal product needs. For further information on horned dinosaurs and other prehistoric animals whose fossils have been found in Alberta, updates on the latest fossil finds, as well as articles and news stories featuring dinosaurs and other prehistoric animals, log on to Everything Dinosaur's huge weblog. http://blog.everythingdinosaur.co.uk the weblog contains over 2,500 articles and is an excellent reference source for dinosaur information, facts and figures. Or why not check out Everything Dinosaur's Facebook page, jammed full of pictures, dinosaur-themed stories, models and artwork submitted by dinosaur fans. Remember to give us a like on Facebook. That would be much appreciated. Thank you.